Welcome to Sewing to Bourbon, Charlie. Tonight we are talking about amber on a finish whiskeys and bourbons. And we have two before us tonight. Starlight, Cigar Batch, and RD1. Amber That's on. a new one. Can't wait. Who's gonna come out on top? Let's find out. Okay, Charlie, so tonight, Amberana finishes. We've done an episode or two on this before. On we the we have, if you go back through our library, we have done a detailed episode and review of Starlight's Cigar Batch Amberana finish. We have, absolutely. Yes, so for those who haven't watched that episode, and those who you. don't know anything about Amberana finish, Welcome. Amberana is a Brazilian wood used to make, do you remember what this, this Brazilian Yes, so it's like a rum, Brazilian rum. Sure. Kind of. So, yeah. And yeah. Amberana is typically referred to as Brazilian oak. It's a very common tree. And it's uh, what gives these cigar batches that intense flavor. Yes. Speaking of intense flavor, if you have never tried one of these Brazilian or Amberana finished whiskeys, you're in for a treat. You're in for something totally different. Yeah. Um, it's hard to even describe, really, until you until you try it. But recently, many, many distillers have been experimenting mm -hmm. with Amarana barrels and aging whiskey in them, Starlight being one of them. Yeah, kind of the first, um, and the reason for the episode tonight is Starlight, our kind of home distillery, had a release, and this was a first fill Amarana finished. And we were excited for it, so we went up, did the release, cigars and food and all that good stuff. And Glenn happened to stumble upon this brand new offering from the RD1 distillery, their Amber on it. And I thought, what a great opportunity, head to head, the old school original gangster versus the plucky newcomer and who comes out on top. Absolutely. So let's get, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay. We're going to start with the RD1. We, oh. Wonderful. So before we start, RD1, if you've never heard of it, it's kind of a newcomer on the scene. If you shop at, what, Total Wine, mm -hmm. um, yep. you'll see it all over the place. Yes. So RD1 actually stands for Registered Distiller One. And they got that name from a distillery that was actually started in 1865. It was the first registered federally registered distillery in Lexington, Kentucky. And they made, what was it called? Ashland. Ashland Distillery is what oh. it was originally called. I have never heard of that. Yeah, so it's another another one of these stories that goes way back. Because if there's anything we know, the story sells the bottle. Absolutely. You so, gotta have a good story. So Ashland Distillery lasted about 10 years before it burnt down. Oh. They rebuilt it. Oh. it Burned down again. Sold a few times. It, it actually did burn <laughs> down again. It was rebuilt again. Finally, Prohibition came, 1919, blah, blah, blah. 2020, some entrepreneurs from Lexington got together, started RD1, and named it RD1 after this. Is this the same people that do the William Tarr? It is. Well, so there that you was go. their first release yeah. and had some acclaim, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A little high end, starting at the higher end. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I've never tried anything from RD1 yet. The RD1 line, they do a lot of different finishings, right? They have a sherry. Mm -hmm. I know they've, I've seen a sherry. I've mm -hmm. seen a double oaked. I know this one is kind of the one that everybody wants. Yeah, they've done some different things. And I picked this up a couple, couple weeks ago. Am I grabbing the right yep, one? That okay, one. Here we go. And this is, before we get into it, Mash bill undisclosed, 110 proof, four plus years old is what the website says. So I'm guessing it's between four and five years. Yep. It doesn't have an age statement and it says. Yes. It could be. Well, there could be whiskey. some older whiskey yeah, in there, but be. the youngest is four. Color? Um, $64.99 is retail. It's a, you know, yeah. honey. Kind of honey color. color. A little light, a little thin, yeah. a little see through. Sticks to the glass pretty well. Yeah, it really does have nice viscosity, yeah. good legs. It's a Let's check her out. That's it's, an Amberana. It's got that familiar Amberana. Oh, one more thing about this. One of the differences between the Starlight and the RD1 is 
the Starlight Amber on a finish actually is, they actually age it in, in an barrel. amber on a barrel. Correct. RD1 uses staves. Okay. But I will say, you know what? We'll talk later. Yeah, we'll talk. So later. the nose for an Amberana, how do you describe it? Um, cinnamon, cinnamon toast crunch, cinnamon roll, uh, <laughs> cinnamon sugar cookie. All day long, yeah, sugar cookie. Like walking into a bakery that's just making diabetes sandwiches. Like it is a strong, potent, sweet, cinnamon candy caramel decadent like if you're looking for a traditional bourbon nose you're not gonna don't like, look here yeah don't look here because this is just this is an, a whole nother animal yeah and I, I don't usually like to do this when it but when i was researching this on their website it had some some notes uh, oh uh, nose and palate uh -huh. and all this and one of the one of the <laughs> notes and i don't know if i can't remember if this was on their website or maybe another website but they, someone mentioned the smell of coins, which I don't get. Like coins in your old coins in your pocket. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna say one thing. I really wanna drink this, but you, you brought up a nice topic. Um, cool it with the tasting and the nosing notes. Please, please. Like it, it's off-putting, it's terrible. Like people that are be like, oh, it has the taste of, a rich mahogany office in the south of France on a hot, humid day after the... Like, what do you talk... Stop it. Just stop. Tell us what it smells like, like a human would smell. Yes. End of rant. End Thank of you. Rant. Okay, cheers. So this smells like cinnamon rolls. This smells like cinnamon rolls. This has... It's got the classic Amberana mm -hmm. flavor to it. It's a little, it's a little medicinal. Does that make sense? Almost a little. It is a little alcohol forward. Yeah. I take a take a second drink okay. because I took my second. I'm kind of letting it mellow out. Different animal. I'm getting spiced cherry on the nose yeah. now. Oh wow! Like a cinnamon, almost like a cinnamon red hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Never gotten that. And this is our first drink of the day. We haven't drank prior to this. We're starting fresh. So, boy, that nose really did change. That's interesting. Second sip is is a little more well-rounded. Some of that medicinal uh, note is kind of kind of dissipated, and that that could be have something to do with the first drink of the day. But I like it. It's got. I get a lot more corn coming through than I typically do in, mm -hmm. in a Starlight or, or somebody else, which if you're a bourbon drinker, that's what you want. You, you want it to still have some of those bourbon notes. Um, first drink, it was a little hot for 110. A little bit. Um, second drink, mellowed out a little bit. Third drink, you really get the Amberana comes through because it's just that sweet, spicy cinnamon almost like eating a cinnamon red hot with this one. And it's funny you said, you, you mentioned the, the what'd you say, spicy cherries mm -hmm. or? Spice cherry, or like yeah. you said, a cinnamon red hot. I, that came through after that first sip. It's like your, my nose was just like, there it is. Like that's, that's a really great catch there. And on this one, you know, you get the cinnamon roll on the, on the nose. I don't feel like that mm -hmm. carries through on the palate as much as uh, the previous uh, editions of the Starlight yeah. Piranha. It, it um, it's not as sweet. It's either. not as sweet. Mm -hmm. It is more spicy, mm -hmm. and it is a cinnamon. It's not a rye spice. It is almost like a cinnamon. It's cinnamon spice. It's gonna sound bad, like a fireball. Like yeah, it that, gives you a, a not off-putting, not okay. like fireball. When you said fireball, I didn't even I didn't even go there to the the little fireball bottles. The whatever it is, fireball. it's not whiskey. <laughs> I thought of the the jaw the jawbreaker size the little the really hot candies you know what I'm talking about the, fireballs yeah fireballs they're literally called fireballs yeah. yeah that's what I thought of not fireball the the whatever the hell it is that joke it's not like whiskey. oh this 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 <laughs> candle smells like fireball yeah and you're like it's cinnamon you alcoholic mm -hmm. yeah it it is a cinnamon spice to it yeah which is very interesting I've never had a cinnamon spice. In a that wasn't added to it, 
in a finished whiskey. I, I think it's very interesting. It is corn forward. I do feel like it's a little on the younger side. So I think it's four years old ish. It does be, taste because young. that corn mm. really comes through. But we also know that the Starlight is four years old. Yeah, and we'll talk Actually, about that. Actually, no. Oh, this one is four years old, isn't it? Yeah, four years old. Sorry, and I was we're going to ahead of myself. And we're going to talk about why too. So you know, I don't get the corn forward that you're picking up on. On uh, the palate? I really don't. Really? Mm -mm. Kudos to you. Um, there's a little, just a little bit of bitterness. And that, I guess maybe that's from the staves. On the finish, you're getting bitterness? Yeah, I'm getting a little mm. bitter, bitterness, which is fine. It's not off-putting. It's, it, it it's really is. There. It really is cinnamon, like spicy cinnamon in your palate. Like, and it just sits there for a while. Um, and it doesn't go away, which, which is both, I guess, good and bad, because yeah. it just kind of sits in there. It's interesting. It's it definitely in, for sure. is an interesting bottle. And I always tell people when they come over and, and I say, if you want to try something really interesting, it has to be either the only thing you're drinking or it has to be the last thing you're drinking. These are not something where you start or you throw into a tasting because it is a palate destroyer. Your palate is. is not ready for this. Like it's different and it sits there and it will ruin you for the evening so psa don't throw this in a tasting and then taste something else like it's it's a begin the night or an end the night that's why i was a little bit worried about doing more than one at a time just because it well, is it's the only such thing a, a the, palette destroyer it's the only thing we can compare it to is itself right. so are you ready for the starlight I am ready for the Starlight. I feel like I need to cleanse, though. So, full disclosure, we have tasted the Starlight um, at the release and had the opportunity to talk to Ted Huber, who is always at the releases. That's one of the great things about small distilleries is the people that make it go are often there. Um, and he said that this one is kind of the culmination of all of theirs that they've done. They've learned a whole lot because... The Ambarana finishing is so intense. It, it's such an intense flavor profile and character out of the barrel that if you leave it in too long, you will ruin the whiskey. And if you don't leave it in long enough, then the character really doesn't go through. So it really is trial and error. And I think this is their fifth or sixth mm -hmm. Ambarana release that they have done at the distillery. And this is a first fill. And what, if you see that, what does first fill mean? That means that they have this barrel and this is the first time that they're using it after they dumped whatever the cacao liquor kachaka. Kachaka liquor was. So what that means is it's going to be more intense. So he said and they he and his sons decided they were going to use a four year old bourbon because they wanted that young cornness to be able to counteract some mm -hmm. of that crazy flavor profile that comes yeah they're, they're they're dialing it in Absolutely. and we've i've talked about this before i have i've always had a love-hate relationship with their ambarana finish yeah because sometimes i love it and sometimes yep. i hate it it's, and yeah it's, no, it's like nothing you've ever tasted before is different and i'm I'm anxious, even though we did try this at the release, it's been it's a little bit. It's been a while, bit. and, and we had we, a cigar, and yeah. we ate a taco, and everything. And we were outside, and now so, that we've tried the RD1, which I feel like the RD1, it keeps a little bit more of that bourbon mm -hmm. profile. 100%. Yeah, so I'm... I'm so, four-year age stated, 113.9 proof, so we are in each other's wheelhouse. It's a pretty fair fight. Let's, let's uh, do it. Let's, let's get, get on it. it. 79 bucks for this. 79 bucks. This one's a little bit darker. A little darker. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful color. It really is. And really not a lot of cling to the glass on it. Um, no, I'm not it's, getting... You know, honestly, it's about like the RD1. Neither one of them. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks pretty... It's kind of thin. Holy crap. <laughs> If there was a candle that smelled like this, you would buy it. it once again, cinnamon roll. Just more, in, uh, it's this, but more intense. More intense. Just yeah. more intense. And that makes sense, oh my gosh. I mean, you can, you can smell it from here. And this, 
and I get, and I know you, you'll argue with me on this one, but I get a little bit of a cigar note, a I, tobacco note. A hundred, there is so much, the nose is so intense that it's one of those things where you, you can pick up a lot of stuff. I mean, and we'll see even after we take that first drink, yeah. but it, it is just like, I get almost, um, like a chocolate brownie cinnamon like it, it the the sweet baking the sweet baked goods oh yeah is incredible i mean you can even everything you can you even want. hear it right? can you hear it can you, oh yes oh yeah. i hear do that at your next tasting i hear like, grandma mm -hmm. making ginger yeah i do cookies yeah. cheers good luck Just like I remember it from the release. This is, I feel like they have almost perfected the amber on a finish. You gotta stop stealing my words. It's um, the intensity of flavor in that bottle is almost indescribable. It is sweet, savory, I get, so when we tasted it up there, kind of the same thing. I got, you know, some great bourbon note. I, after trying there, and it's probably because we tried the RD one and went to this. Mm -hmm. It's like unlocking your palate. I almost get like sweet molasses barbecue, like like a charred. Yeah, um, that's a good. Like almost like eating a burnt end or um, like that's been in. Have you ever smoked like burnt ends and yes. they put like honey and molasses and, you and know syrup? What? That's a great. <laughs> It's like eating a barbecue sandwich. That's a great it, observation. It's unbelievable, and I do feel like this is not for everyone. There are a, lot, a, a huge subset of the bourbon population where this just is too much, or it, yeah. it's just so outside of what your palate likes. But for those of you who are adventuresome, and even for those of you who don't like bourbon, it is an experience to have. It is. It's almost like a category among amongst itself you yes. know but i will say i think they've done a much much better job of retaining that bourbon profile the character of the and bourbon. it's really balanced so you still get that great amberana taste you still get mm. that intense flavor but it's balanced out it, this it, is the most i i will say this is the most drinkable sippable approachable cigar batch that starlight has released and I love Starlight. We love Starlight. I don't even know how many bottles of Starlight I have open. There, there are two thoughts in the bourbon world from both bourbon drinkers and then bourbon manufacturers. For bourbon drinkers, it's, I don't like finished whiskeys. It's not real bourbon. You're cheating. And then on the manufacturer side, it's, well, you're either finishing to improve character and to really right. develop and put something special in a bottle or you're hiding your bad bourbon. Starlight, to me, is the master in the pinnacle. It, they, they are really approaching the top of the mountain on finishing bourbons because they do it in a way that they're like, how can we improve mm -hmm. both? How can we give someone an experience that you're not going unlock flavors that shouldn't occur in your mouth right. with a liquid? I agree. And I that's agree. it. And it, the funny thing is, you mentioned the corn forward on the RD1. I'm getting more of that on the Starlight. Which God is, bless and, and it's not that, not that it tastes young. It's just I'm picking it up a little bit more of the corn note. And I wasn't implying, I just think that you have to use a young bourbon. If you put an older, matured bourbon that already has barrel character from an American oak into an Amberana, mm -hmm. you're just doing this. Yeah. And something's gonna win, and I'm gonna tell you which something it is, it's the Amberana, and you've got some th sort of weird thing. So, and Ted mentioned this, I think they've done it through trial and error. They've done some older cigar mm -hmm. matches. They've done, They've. this is not their first rodeo. It is in fact their second rodeo. This is excellent. And I'm getting more of a, a, a caramel, note on this as it on the finish 
Uh, didn't really get that a whole lot on the RD1. I don't get any of the bitterness that the RD1 had, which, and I, I'm not, doing this comparison, I'm not, you know, saying anything negative about the RD1. I think it was, I think it was pretty good. You know what I we should enjoyed do? It. Let's do something crazy. Let's, let's do it. No, let's really just kill our pallets and go back to the RD1, just to see what happens. Okay. I still have. Do you have a little bit? My glass, I, I, yeah. I, I, I require some more. Because <laughs> I just want to see, because I feel like we, we argued on this, and we actually argued while we were recording, which one do you do first? Because it's, one of them's gonna warm your palate up and one of them is gonna get the benefit of that. Was that RD1 again. That doesn't. Does it, is it completely different than it what it was smell. the first time? Uh, all I get is corn. Yeah. I don't get any of all. I get corn and like a, like a. The starlight. Sweet, syrupy. No. Yeah, like maple syrup. But I don't get any of the cinnamon, cinnamon spice the star, like we did, but the, I do on the starlight. Oh Go my back gosh, to the starlight. The, the starlight has destroyed our palate. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. So if you want, <laughs> if you want scientific empirical proof that this is a different animal, it has killed us. Yes. It has destroyed our palate and it has destroyed our nose. I think the starlight killed us because I don't get any of that. I don't get the. I don't get any of it. Cinnamon, I, the I, red hot, or fireball, or whatever. Yeah, I don't get any of that. I get a very classic kind of bourbon profile. I do. You get that. You still get that. That. That heat, kind of the spiciness, but. Which. Maybe we shouldn't have done this. <laughs> Now, nosing it again after drinking it, mm -hmm. I get a little bit of the cherry, but I'm not getting any of that cinnamon, and this is just so crazy. Yeah. I don't oh, it's kind of it kind of comes back. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just going. Back. <laughs> I'm going back to the starlight. <laughs> Did you? I drank all my starlight. So, really and truly, I, I don't know how we compare these two. You know, I would say this is your starter, Amarana. Starlight light? Yes. This is, uh, yeah. Starlight light. So. This is once you've yeah. kind of gotten a taste of it and kind of decided whether you like this or not, now you move up to the next level. Here's what I will tell you. If you have the opportunity to buy one or both or either of these bottles, you should because they are incredibly interesting and so far outside of the flavor wheel of bourbon that it should be its own subcategory of distilled spirits. It's that intense and it's that different. And just us bouncing from one to the other, it opens up, I'm rambling. I, They're I've, both real good. Yeah, I've said this from the first time I ever tried the, the Starlight Cigar Batch. It's like nothing else I've ever tasted. And I, I will say that to this day, I've still never tasted anything yeah. like it. So it's not, is it one that I'm gonna pull out every day and sip on? No, but it's one that if you want something special, you want something different, unique, that's, that's the bourbon for you. Angel's Envy mm -hmm. Rye is a rum finished rye and it is incredibly sweet. And for a lot of people, they love that because it almost tastes like a cocktail in a glass. If you like that, this is that cranked up a thousand percent. Charlie, mm -hmm. rum finish you mentioned? Rum finished? Like, yeah, like, you know, rum. Huh. What, what's, what? what's this? Hark, hark, hark. <laughs> hark. So this is? Another Starlight Cigar Batch release, Amberana Finished Rum. This was an incredibly Barrels. limited release. Yes. Uh, they only 200 had- 200 bottles, something I, like that. 200 or less. They sold out almost immediately. Um, and this is an Amberana barrel that contained rum, and then we they bourboned it up. So there is absolutely no reason for us to review this because you can't have it because you didn't get it. 
But we're going to do it anyway. But we're going to do it because... Open it, Charlie. Do you have you a glass? Big, big handed Irishman. Uh, Here you go. We I'm going to get glasses. We need new glasses. Oh, yeah. You got to have new glasses. So, so while, while he's doing this, I'll tell you a little bit about this one. This is 113 proof. 113 proof this and... is a six year. So six. it's two years older than the bourbon. Which is not, this is obviously not a first, would it be a first fill? I don't, I don't it, know about this. I don't one. know how don't you would remember categorize we asked him that about this because it had rum in it. Right. But I have heard nothing but good things about this. And I am incredibly I excited to try. Now that our palates, you want a palate cleanse? Did yes. you palate cleanse? Beautiful. I think you're looking good, huh? Well, try to get a jump on the competition. All right, here we go. Let's not delay. I feel like it's a, a shade lighter. Shade. Oh, you think it's a shade than, lighter? Then maybe the, the first starlight. Really? I was going to say it's a, maybe a little shade darker, but who knows? I don't know. It's still pretty beautiful. Kind of that same, doesn't really put a, a, a ton of nope. legs on, really kind of light. Hmm. It's a little more muted, isn't it? It is. You can smell the, the, uh, uh Amberana, but yeah, but I also get that kind of rum, that that kind of alcohol and sh kind of sugar, sugar mm -hmm. cane, a little sugar, kind of like smell. a molasses, almost. No, not molasses, like a like a cane sugar almost. Yeah. I get a little cinnamon there, but again, our palates and noses can't be trusted because of whatever Starlight did to us. Holy crap. That's... What the hell is that? <laughs> that wow. is... What the hell is that? <laughs> I, I'm... I don't even know how to describe it. What the hell is that? It's... Ah, oh, man. So it's got... It's got the spice. It's got the cinnamon note. But it's very... <laughs> it kind of sits back there on the outside and just is like teas in your mouth like oh yeah cinnamon spice but then it's kind of got a like a really smooth there's that word smooth again rounded out holy shit. middle that's a really sippable bourbon right there that's i've never tasted anything like that that wasn't a cocktail like, you know, it, it almost, and it's a hundred and, what proof? 113? 113. It does not drink. Oh my gosh. It drinks like, proof. it drinks like a cocktail. Yeah. If you put an ice cube in it, you, um, okay. Take a deep breath. Tell the viewers what it tastes like. It's very light. Mm -hmm. it, it, so when it hits your mouth, like mouth feel wise, it's almost like drinking a cocktail because it's very light. There's no viscosity to it but then the flavor just kicks you, like just, there it is. And you do get a little bit of the cinnamon, but it's more muted. You do get a little sugar. I guess that's the rum, that kind of like guess, but it's not, dark, oaky, sweet. It's not super sweet, but it's just, yeah, I feel like it just really smooths it out. The right amount of everything? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, like, cause there's some oak character in there as well, but there the, is. the finish, even as I'm talking, the finish is still going on. And it's sugary and sweet and caramelly and holy crap. That's, <laughs> that's a, awesome. Yeah, that. Mm. And I'm gonna I'm gonna really blow your mind. <laughs> this tastes like that after drinking the others. Yeah. I almost feel holy like holy crap. I almost feel like each one of these deserve their own episode. Mmm with no comparison to anything else yeah nobody's gonna watch that but <laughs> if we put it on the youtube and be like battle of the amaranas you guys will click it so. it's interesting because i feel like the nose is pretty similar to just the the regular i, I that one's a little more intense it's more so intense. yeah that, th this one's more this yeah. one is more intense. this one's more intense but it's got it's the same characteristics yes but the the palette is Totally different. totally different and, and totally different. in a totally awesome different way 
the masters of finishing. Yep. They did a good job. They, yeah, that's, uh, that's a sadness bottle. This almost has a, like a liqueur, you know. Like a pre-made cocktail, yeah. man. Like an RTD, ready to drink. Um, that's a sadness bottle, though. Because when that's gone... I know. I did have second thoughts about bringing it over. <laughs> that's all right, though. If you don't drink it, what's the point? Yeah, second right? thoughts about getting it to your car. Glenn? <laughs> this one even has a little bit of that, um, that Oreo pie crust taste that I have. It's been a while since I brought that one out, but it's got a little bit of that. I would love to know the mash bills on these. To be able to drink that after this and then after this, so we, we drank this and that, and then we went back to this, and then we did this, and for that to hold up. If you know. Pretty you know, impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, yeah, so we're not gonna rate them. We're just not, because they're their own thing. There's no way to rate them. There is only to tell you that you should get one and experiment. And I know Starlight. Um, they have a new website. They do have a new website. You should definitely check out their website. Uh, they also have a Facebook group called All Things Starlight Distillery. You should join that because their barrel picks are starting to get out there. So check out and see and ask your local place if you yeah, can get it. Their distribution is growing, the RD1. I know that I bought the very last bottle, at least at the party marts in town. Oh. This was the very last bottle. Yeah, this um, one's hard to come by, but RD1 has a lot of good stuff out there right. sitting around. And this will not be the last RD1 that we do. We will have another RD1 episode. Yes, yes, we will. Coming soon. So, Charlie, hmm? what should the good people watching at home do? They should definitely like and subscribe. They should definitely check out the Instagram. So into bourbon. And the TikTok. Whiskey Realtor. And what else? most importantly, you know what you should do. You should keep your wallets loose and, and your, your bung holes tight. tight. Good night, everybody. Hate it. It's a terrible episode. <laughs> Maybe the worst we've done. Leave these bottles with me. I'll take both of them. You know, um, I'm not going to do that. And we're back in three, one, action. That's, you don't say one. <laughs> in TV, they say three, two, is that from all your years on the news? You know what? You can only describe what the tornado sounds like <laughs> so many times. All right. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. You ever see Nightmare on Elm Street? That's our signature. Absolutely. Taking the market by storm. All the amber on us. Okay. Cigar finished. All the, 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 ba, 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 be, ba, 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 Ready, Amberana Brazilian, take 53. Action.